In today's episode, I will show you my homemade xenon light source for spectrometry. Xenon light is preferable to halogen because it has a broader spectrum and specific peaks that can be used to calibrate the spectrometer. I use an H7 xenon bulb from the automotive sector because it's very inexpensive and readily available. If possible, it should have a ceramic socket. The H7 is normally used as a front fork light. Unlike halogen bulbs, xenon bulbs cannot be operated directly with 12 volts. A special ballast is required, which is also very inexpensive. A lesson I learned, never operate the ballast without the bulb, otherwise you'll immediately see blue smoke. First, I build an optical bench consisting of a concave mirror, the aforementioned xenon bulb, two identical converging lenses and an optical fiber. The lenses are made of borosilicate glass. Quartz lenses would be better in terms of UV transmittance, but they are very expensive. Since I don't own a metal lace or mill, building the optical bench was a challenge. Since the optical bench must be housed in a light-tight enclosure, a fan is required for heat dissipation. As light can enter the housing through the fan, a light trap is required. These are available on eBay or Amazon in different sizes, with or without a flange. I use one without a flange with a diameter of 100 mm. I use an enclosure made of extruded aluminium. They are available in many different sizes and designs. The light trap is sealed and mounted by using black silicone. I toyed with the idea of placing the ballast in an enclosure as well, but then decided against it and mounted it on a 5mm thick aluminium blade.
also built the adapter for the optical fiber myself. The optical fiber is made of a special PMMA which transmits UV light as well. It has a diameter of 3 mm and is coated with black PVC. I then determined the position of the optical bench in the enclosure. After that, the optical bench was mounted. To determine the exact position of the optical fiber adapter in the front panel, I used the paper template again. Then it was time for the final assembly. Thanks to the fan and the solid aluminium enclosure, the temperature does not exceed 30 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and thanks to my Patreons. Stay true, stay you.